You know this 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 thing that's happening in our communities it's happening and it's the fault of our children and it's also the fault of our parents your girl's 20 years old and you keep bringing her boys from Pakistan to marry from India to marry from Bangladesh to marry from Cairo from from you know from Ba'labak <laughs> you know Mary, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is my cousin. This is my cousin's brother's nephew's barber's son. <laughs> He's good. And she's like, no, dad. No, no. And you know what comes in her head? What comes in her head is my parents will end up marrying me to a goat. <laughs> so I got to think for myself. Because they, they clearly don't understand who I am. They don't know who I am. So she'll take matters in her own hand. And then you'll be sitting there crying when she runs away. But you did that. You put her in that position because you never openly talk to her about marriage. And the same thing with your boys. Who do you want to marry? You don't. If you want to hold on to your class, class society business, then you came to the wrong country. Because in this country, when you stand in the line at McDonald's, of course for a fish sandwich, right? You guys are conservative. <laughs> when you stand in the line at McDonald's, I don't care if there's a CEO of IBM behind me and the, the head, of, head of Facebook in front of me, we're going to stay in one line. And we're going to go when our turn comes. There is no class. There is no class. And so all of those values that you have that have nothing to do with Islam, but you've made them somehow a big part of your life, so big that it's even bigger than Islam, they will come to haunt you and will ruin your life in America. They will destroy your life. Because you are not understanding where you're living and what, what kind of life your children are leading. You're just not understanding it. So don't put our kids in that position. That's why I said start talking to them about marriage when? Young age. So they know they can talk to you about it. A boy should not feel like if I bring up marriage to my mother, she will kill me. Or if he brings it up to his mother and says, Mom, don't tell dad. Anything but dad. There's something wrong with that. There's something not right about that. We have to open up this process. We have to make it easy within our family. And the more you hold on to back home tradition of you're going to marry one of your cousins. So, and, and so we are as guilty in this crime as, as they are. And by the way, they're not innocent. When they're an adult, they have to decide, take matters. You know, they, they're responsible to Allah. They are responsible to Allah. And the other thing we're doing, we're pushing our children into illegitimate relationships. Everywhere they go, every boy has a relationship with a girl. Every boy, every girl has a relationship with a boy. They've got, they see relationships all the time and they say, man, I wish I had a relationship. And guess what, is that natural or no? It's natural, I wish I had a relationship. I wish I had somebody I could love. I wish I had somebody I could talk to. All these guys, they do haram. I don't want to do haram, so let me just talk to my parents about marriage. And then every boy that comes for the girl, you say, no, 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 no. What do you, what do you want her to do? What do you want her to do? And then you want, she, she goes to university, she's around men all day, some of them good. And even she might even have the thought of suggesting them to you, but she can't, because you've closed every door. And then she calls the shaykh and says, you have to obey our parents, but he's ruining my life, what should I do? Right? Why do you put your children in that position? Why don't you have any mercy on your children? So why are you blaming them for wanting to... And if you can't even give them the halal way out? Shame on you. you you're ruining society. You're ruining the ummah. If you don't take responsibility, parents get your act together. Get your act together when it comes to...